Hey guys, Tech Ninja with a video for you guys. In today's video, I want to show you how to fix your iPhone if you get this iPhone unavailable screen when you're trying to unlock or use your phone. So we'll walk you guys through what this means and a couple things you can try to fix it. Now, let's dive right into it. So while you're seeing this message of iPhone unavailable, it's most likely because you entered your password wrong multiple times or for some reason it's not recognizing your face or touch ID so you get this message which for the first thing if you get it for the very first time you have to wait one minute and then retry again now if you keep on getting it wrong multiple times it goes up of five minutes to even 15 minutes to half an hour to one hour and eventually it gets to a point where you don't get a wait time so you can't really wait so what can you do so essentially first time just go ahead and wait and then make sure you enter your password right now the next time if you're having this issue or if you see that there's no wait time available what you want to do is a force restart of your phone so to do that you're going to do is press and release the volume up and then press and release the volume down this is going to be really quick and then you'll hold this big side button on your right hand side now this will work from iphone 8 and above so to show you in real time we're going to press and release the volume up and then volume down and then hold this big side button now on the right hand side now while you're holding that side button do not slide to power off you can just simply wait till the screen goes completely black and you see the apple logo so you're going to wait and you see the apple logo and then let go of that big side button so again that was quickly release the volume press and release the volume up and then volume down and then we're going to hold that big side button and eventually you will kind of force the phone to reload the software and this time around hopefully you get the screen to be able to enter your password so we're going to go ahead and enter our password and we should be get able to get it now let's say you're still having an issue what else can you do there's a couple other things you can do which again it's going to require possibly data loss so let's say you get a message like this for 15 minutes you haven't done it. now what we're going to have to do is connect the phone through your computer or a MacBook and have iTunes or the Finder app to kind of go ahead and restore the phone or you know wipe out the phone. Now this again before you do this it's going to delete data if you don't have a backup. If you have a backup on iCloud you can restore from iCloud after you go ahead and do the or restore itself. So we're going to grab a computer and just show you guys how that's being done. So we have our computer here so all we do is take the charging cable you're going to plug it into the phone and then take the other cable and plug it into your of course your uh, macbook or your pc if you're using itunes either way it works and then you'll notice here for example this is a newer mac so it uses the finder app now it doesn't need the itunes any longer but if you have a older mac or if you have a computer that is in a MacBook, you'll you, you'll download iTunes again. The app called iTunes, free to get from Apple. You just go on the website and then download it. Uh, you can just Google that. So once you have downloaded that, you're going to go ahead and click on your iPhone, and it will probably come up with this screen here, something similar to that. And you'll see an option here to restore your iPhone. You're going to want to click on that. Once you click on that can pretty much go through it where it's going to tell you some things or basically it's going to give you this other message which is going to be something just like this where it says uh, restore as well so these are the other ways that you might also see the message if you're using iTunes so you're just going to go through the restore process again as we mentioned this will erase the phone so you'll lose all of your data but then if you have a backup on iCloud or backed it up in your computer before you can restore from that so those are kind of the ways you can resolve this issue and hopefully this is going to help you guys resolve this this, this is a really tricky problem I do want to say that you know security thing app was done but again it could uh, make a lot of users frustrated because the solutions aren't great but these two solutions we mentioned around waiting and then doing a forced restart and then of course the last final thing to do is erase the phone and re restore for backup so hopefully going to give you guys a way to at least resolve this issue so if this video was helpful in any way please make sure to like and subscribe button and thanks for watching guys see you guys next time